The other workout, the Murph, means integrity, remembrance, pain, privilege, and honor. The Medal of Honor is the highest military decoration that a president can bestow. It recognizes gallantry that goes above and beyond the call of duty in the face of an enemy attack. And many of those who have received the medal have given their lives in the action that earned it. This isn't about me, this is about somebody that paid the ultimate sacrifice so that I can have this freedom. They remember a wise cracking friend who went by Mikey or Murph. They remember a patriot who wore a New York City firehouse patch on his uniform in honor of the heroes of 9-11. And they remember an officer who respected their opinions and led them with an understated yet unmistakable sense of command. On June 28, 2005, Michael would give his life for these ideals. It's one of those workouts everybody knows about. Even if you're not in CrossFit, you know about it. The President of the United States of America, in the name of Congress, takes pride in presenting the Medal of Honor to Lieutenant Michael P. Murphy, United States Navy. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, as the leader of a special reconnaissance element with Naval Special Warfare Task Unit Afghanistan on 27 and 28 June 2005. Operating in an extremely rugged, enemy-controlled area, Lieutenant Murphy's team was discovered by anti-coalition militia sympathizers who revealed their position to Taliban fighters. As a result, between 30 and 40 enemy fighters besieged his four-member team. When you're in the moment and you're doing this and you're on 90 push-ups in the middle of the Murph and you're like, I can't do 10 more reps. You kind of take a step back and you think about why you're doing the workout to begin with. Demonstrating exceptional resolve, Lieutenant Murphy, Murphy valiantly led his men in engaging the large enemy force. The ensuing fierce firefight resulted in numerous enemy casualties as well as the wounding of all four members of his team. Ignoring his own wounds and demonstrating exceptional composure, Lieutenant Murphy continued to lead and encourage his men. This man gave the ultimate sacrifice. So when you're sitting there and you're tired, you feel like you want to quit, you want to give up, or you want to shave a rep, think about the freedom you have, think about what you did for you. Realizing the impossibility of communicating in the extreme terrain, and in the face of almost certain death, he fought his way into an open terrain to gain a better position to transmit a call. This deliberate, heroic act deprived him of cover, exposing him to direct enemy fire. Finally achieving contact with his headquarters, Lieutenant Murphy maintained his exposed position while he provided his location and requested immediate support for his team. In his final act of bravery, he continued to engage the enemy until he was mortally wounded, gallantly giving his life for his country and for the cause of freedom. By his selfless leadership, courageous actions, and extraordinary devotion to duty, Lieutenant Murphy reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service.